I don't know of many people that want to know what they're doing wrong. They generally like to say, hey, you know, I just want to keep doing what I'm doing. Don't tell me what I'm doing wrong. But if you haven't grown the wealth that you want to grow, you probably are doing something wrong. Yes, there's just the simple thing of, hey, you know, make more money, save more money. I get that. But let's go into three quick things that you could possibly doing, be doing wrong that you need to change to make yourself grow more dough. If you haven't met me, I'm Eric with Jazz Wealth Managers, where we don't just invest your dough, we like to educate you on it as well. So let's take a look at this and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about with the first one of just being in your own way. Now, if you're in your own way, what does that mean exactly? Well, a Dow, Dow Bar report was done in 2019. Uh, this says for the 20 years ending December 31st, 2019, the S&P index averaged 6.06%, but the average equity fund investor only averaged 4.25%. Just shows you right there that you're not generally going to beat the markets. So many people want to jump in and try to, you know, buy all these different stocks all the time and beat the markets. But what ends up happening is they end up doing the same thing every single time. They're making emotional decisions with their money. There's the idea of when the markets are falling, oftentimes people aren't actually wanting to buy, they're wanting to sell off and they freak out. But then when the markets are going up, they wanna jump in and it's that FOMO mentality. So you're gonna look at things and make these emotional decisions when instead you should either ride the wave or make the decision to start as we like to look at things and that's take from the top when the market's going up, not when the market's falling. You don't wanna pull out and go more conservative when the market's falling because when are you going to get back in the market? So that's the first one. The second one is you aren't willing to take any risk. Now, I get it, you know, Right this second, a high yield savings account's paying 4%, but that's not the norm. The norm is not that whatsoever, and I'll actually be able to show you that specifically on, on this chart right here. So if you check this out, this is our planner that we work with clients on. So if you have $500,000, and let's just say that your, your cash gets 1% on average, oftentimes with low rates, that's probably what you're going to be getting. And you know if you have 1%, over 30 year period of time, that person at age 70, now they're 40, they're gonna have roughly, let's go down here and see, $813,000. But honestly, that's not even going to keep up with inflation. Inflation's oftentimes over that. So let's look at the same thing. If we go with the same numbers here and we say they're at 70, they have 500,000 and they get a 6% return. Now they have 2.871 million. So it's a huge difference when it comes to that. So really you've got to just figure out, you know, are you willing to take any risk? Because if you're just sitting on the sidelines with all of your money, you're not going to grow your wealth. The third thing is knowing your number. What is your number? What is your goal? What are you working towards? Too many people are just sitting out there and they're not, you know, well, I'm just going to save, you know, a couple percent here, or a couple percent there, or I want to, you know, put some money in a Roth IRA and get it started but you really don't know what you're working towards. So you're just throwing you know, numbers against a wall and you're not getting anything to stick. How do you get it to stick? Well, that's where you go back to the planner right here and we say, hey, you've got $500,000. Now we wanna talk about, well, you know what? I wanna, I'm making $100,000 a year and you know, how much do I need to save? Because I wanna find out, I wanna live on $50,000 a year in retirement. Am I on the right track or am I not on the right track? There's things that you can do here to really start to calculate what your number is to figure out what that is to save towards to then you know, set a goal and it will give you an opportunity to grow your wealth because now you have something to work towards instead of just getting out there and just saying, well, I'm just gonna you know, save a little bit. Now you need to know what you're saving for and then how much you need to save to truly get to where you want to be. So three quick tips there for you. I uh, hope you're having a great day. If you haven't checked us out, check us out, jazzwealth.com. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch more FinTips videos, click here. Be sure to like and subscribe also.